I need new pillows. These are not it. Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. I am coming out of my Christmas hibernation for a few hours only to bring you my annual what I got for Christmas video. If you're new here, I do one of these every year and I actually don't know what to do with myself on Boxing Day if I don't film one of these. So it's been a year with a lot of change, but I thought it would be nice for some things to stay the same. So we are back again this year and I'm really excited to talk you through everything I've got. Last year's Christmas gifting was just incredible. And because of that, I didn't ask for anything this year. I just didn't really have anything that I wanted. All I really wanted was to spend Christmas with my family which I feel so blessed that I was able to do and Ryan was able to spend Christmas with me as well and it was just the most lovely, lovely day. I did put a little snippet on my Instagram stories. There was a little bit of this <laughs> and a lot of this. So I'm feeling well and truly like puffy and bloated and like you know, all fuzzy and warm, that like after Christmas, that real after Christmas feeling today, which is so lovely. But yeah, anyway, I just didn't really have anything that I wanted this year and I got a bit of a shock. Um, but thank you to everyone in my life who bought me presents because it's just been the most magical 24 hours. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started. I'm actually gonna get started with a gift from my managers, <laughs> which is in this vase, which I just love. I love it so much. Um, you will have seen this on Instagram stories already, but they just got me these lovely, these are actually dried flowers, but they don't look like they're dried because they still have retained like all of their color. They're called like perfectly preserved uh, dried flowers or something like that. I have no idea how they do this, but it is magical. So these are just meant to last and that blows my mind. I will link to the website because I actually ordered from them after receiving this gift because this came um, kind of like mid-December. Um, I actually ordered some of these for my parents' uh, table setting at their house. I did the table setting and I loved it. I was just kind of like, my mom is very like, she likes a plan and I am just like, I wing it. But um, yeah, I ordered a few different sets of these for the table setting and just kind of like wound them all together. Their delivery was good, loved it, like would highly, highly recommend them. So thank you to my managers for introducing me to this brand. I think it's like called Chida or something like that off the top of my head, I really can't remember. But a big thank you to them for introducing me to this brand because it really saved my bacon when it came to hunting down the foliage for the table setting. I'd left it way too last minute, way too close to Christmas. So that was basically two gifts in one because it saved my unorganized I just love these dry flowers and I could kind of like separate them all and put them into different vases as well if I wanted them in smaller ones. The vase is from Latizo Living, I think that is the brand. It's, bas it's basically like a very affordable dupe for the very expensive bum vases that you see everywhere on Instagram. Almost put one of those on my Christmas list and definitely thought better of it. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. Oh, let's do this one next. Lauren got me a box of donuts, which I am now showing you a box of half-eaten donuts. These are from Donut Time, which is one of our favorite donut brands. Yes, we have a favorite donut brand. That was the wrong way around. Um, I love their packaging. It is just the best. And they do vegan donuts, which makes me happy, but Ryan especially, especially happy. So we've eaten the glazed one. We've pretty much done the Biscoff one. I'm halfway through the chocolate one. And then we have a tiny bit of a jam, a tiny bit of a original, and then half an apple crumble, which, no, nope, that's like a quarter of an apple crumble left. So thank you very much to Lauren for these. We've really enjoyed tucking into them. So like the first thing I do in the morning at the moment is just like leave my bedroom, go into the kitchen and just <laughs> shove some donut in my face. And it's just absolutely glorious. The packaging is literally, I can't, they, have nailed the packaging. So you can order them online for delivery, which is just amazing. I feel like they started doing that during lockdown because they started doing kits as well, which um, Lauren kind of got Brian and I one of those as well during lockdown. They have like shops in London as well. Not like shops you go into, but like they kind of serve you out the window type vibes. Um, and we just absolutely love them. We love them. Uh, let's do this. So my family know me well. Makes me very happy. I introduced my mum this summer to my favorite wine brand and that was a gift for her, but also a gift for me because she now knows my favorite wine brand and she just buys it for me. And that is just, I just love it. Being gifted this is like, my, this is one of my ultimate gifts. Like if you just want to make me super happy, just buy me a bottle of this. So this is Miraval Rose. I love their packaging. It's just stunning. And uh, this is actually, I believe Brad and Angie's uh, wine brand. I was never a big fan of them, but a very, very, very big fan of their rosé. I've got an itchy eyebrow. Ah. 
and then I also got an Aperol Spritz gift set which I just love I'm like fully covered for <laughs> I was about to say years worth of like drinking <laughs> lol it will probably last me a month of the rate I'm currently going so moving on I have some socks from Ryan these are fluffy socks I actually have a nude pair as well they're from M&S but they're worn and I don't really want to show you worn socks but they come in a set of like nude and black and they're just like so super soft and fluffy and fleecy and they're just absolutely lovely Ryan actually bought those and didn't realize that we had had a conversation about them in the shop but he managed to pick the exact same set that I would have picked myself won't be shocking to anyone that it's nude and black because I also got some coffee stencils, which I attempted to use this morning, and I will put photos on screen of how that went. <laughs> it did not go well. I definitely need one of the little like sieve thingies, the powder shakers, whatever they're called. I definitely need one of those because I'm not very good at it so far. Brian and I also got a game of vegan or not vegan, guess the food, which we played last night, and we are very good at. I don't know if that's surprising. I also have the most snuggly hot water bottle in the world. I am very, very grateful for this since moving. I've really noticed I've been feeling the cold more. Lots of you will know I used to live in a very kind of like new build apartment and it was so warm, like so warm all the time. Sometimes I'd have the windows open in the winter. It was glorious, especially for my heating bill. It was so great. Whereas here it is lovely in the summer, especially during a heat wave, but awful in the winter. So one thing that I did ask for when my mum asked me what I wanted for Christmas was a hot water bottle because when I'm sitting at my desk, especially me and Nala sometimes like have to like huddle together because we just get a bit chilly when we're like sat not moving for a while. So this is a great gift for both myself and Nala because I hate the thought of her ever being cold. It's why she's in jumpers a lot as well. It's really big as well. So big and fluffy. We then have some chenille which comes in the most gorgeous box. I'm obsessed. And in here we have a Le Beige foundation. I really wanted a new one because my old one has about this much left in and I hadn't used it in such a long time. And I was like, that's, that's definitely not gonna be good anymore. And so I was really wanting a new one of these. They actually come in like loads of different shades now, which I didn't know when I first bought this. I don't know if they've changed that over time, but I got the shade medium plus and hopefully that will be good for me. And then I got a Le Lift hand cream. These hand creams are so cool. I need to show you actually. I'll unbox both with you. This really matches my outfit right now. I'm so rating that. So I have a white one already, but I thought the black one looked really cool as well. I love the fact that they're like pebbles. So cool. My hands have been especially dry recently. So, oh, the color of this is like pinky as well. So cute. So yeah, it comes out the little bit at the top. Oh, it just smells so nice. Mm. Yeah, my hands have been so dry. I'm making a resolution this year to kind of like look after my hands a little bit more. Look after my nails as well. I actually painted them for Christmas. It was wild. Went for something really outrageous, as you can see. But that one's lovely. It's a little bit thicker than the one that comes in the white uh, little packaging. And then we have the Le Beige water foundation i call it the le beige water foundation it's actually the le beige water fresh tint i love the way the foundation looks in the bottle as well i don't know if you'll be able to see on screen but it's got all of the little like um they look like beads but basically what happens is you pump this onto the back of your hand and then the little beads are like what i want to say what contains the like the pigment um, and they kind of like burst and it's so cool. I just love it. And I remember loving this like before I got onto the By Terry CC Serum Hype and the, what else did I love? It was the Vita Liberata. Oh, I need to start using that again. That was good. I basically stripped everything back when I started getting breakouts because I thought it was product related. It's not. So I'm going like back to everything I've loved. I remember loving this and my skin is definitely feeling a little bit more like dry and dehydrated at the moment. So I thought this would be a great lightweight base for um, the winter time and even to have like underneath my makeup as like a starting point would be amazing as well. And I know I'll wear it so much in the summer as well because it's a gorgeous like summery product too. We also have a little mascara sample and some cream. So that is what I got. I'm really not doing good things for this tissue paper. That is what I got and I'm really excited that I have now showed them this video so I can just like tuck in tomorrow when I do my makeup. I'm really not doing this in a very good order this year. Normally I kind of do it by like either family or people or like small to large size. This year I'm just mixing it up. Um, I also got the Ariana Grande Thank You Next um, vinyl. Regular watchers might have guessed who got me this but 
for those of you that don't know, Ryan has a vinyl player at his and he's like been collecting vinyl. And I, as a joke, bought myself a sweetener album vinyl to have at his house um, so that I had something to play. And he actually picked me up the Thank You Next vinyl for Christmas, which was lovely of him. I'm really sad that the Positions vinyl isn't out yet because that is one that I am actually like super excited to buy. But this is definitely one of my favourite albums and I really like the artwork. So it's such a lovely one to have. It's also got some absolute bops on it. So thank you very much to Santa Ryan, Chef Ryan, Santa Ryan. Ryan. DIY Ryan. So many titles. Another gift which might be like a top gift. I'm not gonna lie. I think this might be like second to top of my gifts. It's a dressing gown and a while back I saw my brother's girlfriend who lives with my parents. She was wearing the most cozy dressing gown and I was like oh my goodness where is that from? And it's from Marks and Spencer's. So I got one for Christmas and it's literally like, oh, so cozy and I love the colour of it. It's like a pink but not a pink pink. But it's got this lovely like undertone underneath it where it's like a darker color but then the lighter kind of fleece on top is so gorgeous i i was very close to filming this whole video in this and just not getting dressed for you guys just fyi santa ryan's gift to me this christmas was very generous very very generous i was not expecting this still a little bit overwhelmed by this if i'm honest i just really didn't think we were going this level for christmas this year i have also just realized that it's on charge in my office so i'm going to need to go get it but this is the box <laughs> Don't go anywhere. So this hasn't actually been set up yet. That was why I had it on charge this morning. I don't really know a ton about Apple Watches, so I don't know which like one this is, but basically all of my friends, like my group of six girly friends, they all have Apple Watches except me. And they're all like linked to each other. And you know, sometimes you just get real FOMO. Yeah, I get real FOMO when they all like know stuff about each other and what they're all doing based on their watches. And I'm like, I also use my phone a lot for tracking my steps and my activity and actually sometimes when I go for a walk I just want to leave the phone at home but then I end up taking it because I want to make sure I track my steps. So for those reasons and the being able to find your iPhone by your watch like ping it I have just always wanted to buy myself one of these but hadn't quite got round to it but I'm really excited that I have one now. We're actually going to change the strap because it's just a little bit I think it's just a little bit too big. I'm not sure how tight everyone likes theirs to fit. Mine kind of would sit down here, which I didn't really mind, but Ryan was like, N -n -n no, not happy. Um, so I think we are, when retail is back open, we're gonna change it. Yeah, I'm so excited to set this up. I'm thinking I might go for a fancy strap though. I'm not sure. Let me know if you have one. Let me know what straps you have and would you recommend, because there are some really bougie straps out there and I wanna know like what the best ones are. So let me know in the comments if you have one and what you would recommend. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I love the metal color as well. Um, I just think it's gonna be so versatile and easy to wear for me. So that and the dressing gown are like the pièce de résistance of my Christmas presents and I'm so happy with them. I did also buy myself a Christmas present and I know a lot of you wanted to see this when I posted the box on Instagram stories. So as with tradition, as with the past like, God, how many years of what I got for Christmases, I always buy myself something at Christmas. So it would be rude to not pop it in this video. So it would be rude to not pop it in this video. I have to say, if you haven't watched last year's what I got for Christmas, um, I will link it. The bag that I bought last Christmas, I, love so much and still wear all the time still look at it every day and i'm like that is an absolute work of art and it's now kind of solidified the fact that any bag that i buy needs to be that level vibes you know where you're just like a year on still as in love with it as i was the second i bought it and i really wanted to feel the same about this year's bag to the point where i almost didn't buy myself anything because I was trying to buy pre-loved as I did with last year's bag and I loved that process. I love taking a bag off someone's hands that they don't particularly want anymore. However, the sale fell through. Um, it didn't pass the full authentication process, which was so sad. But then this actually came back into stock new. So I decided to take the plunge and I have to say the retail of this, like in terms of like buying pre-loved, a lot of the time was working out way more expensive than buying new and that is so strange to me and I would love to know if anyone is particularly like well versed in handbags as to why that happens. I'm so intrigued, especially with this brand. Really tried to keep the ribbon on it for as long as possible but it's really not having it, like it just wants to slip straight off now. This is what I got for Christmas. 
I'm literally just doing this for effect. I wore this bag yesterday. It's actually heavy and it's full of stuff. Don't know why I've done this. <laughs> just wanted to relive the unboxing experience all over again. I actually did unbox this and I filmed it, but I don't know if I've deleted the footage. So it, something might pop up on Instagram of like the actual unboxing of it. Some of you may have noticed this year that I haven't bought as many bags as usual. And that is because I have been looking at what I love in my bag collection and what I will maybe be selling. And I really want to take that collection down to my real like loves. And I've been looking at the kind of characteristics of bags that I truly like love. The ones that like have that wow factor that just never ever wanes or wears off for me. So I decided to purchase less this year so that I could make kind of like bigger, not bigger investments. Cause actually the, the price of this um, new was very, very similar to like YSL. I was very surprised, but that's just this bag in particular. But anyway, Louis Vuitton just has that real wow factor for me that I, I just adore their bags and I'd never purchased anything from them before. And lots of people always say when I do a bag collection, like there's no Louis Vuitton in your collection. And that also surprises me as well because I just love the brand. I love the monogram print. I just think it is gorgeous. Even their non monogram printed bags, they're just, they make some absolutely stunning bags. So with that in mind, I wanted something that was kind of classic, but also a little bit different. This is what I ended up purchasing. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and it's in the kind of like duo. I've still got my watch on. <laughs> Why have I still got this on? It's in the kind of like multi-tone of the different browns, which I just absolutely love. I feel like a light tan is a very summery tone and the dark brown is a very kind of like wintry tone. And the style and shape of this, I think lends itself to being worn all year round. Um, one of the things that I found with my Chloe bag, which lots of you will know, I bought a few Christmases ago and really struggled to like place it in my wardrobe. It's like a saddle bag. So I do think the style of it is much better suited to the summertime. Whereas I think this works so much nicer over like big chunky coats. Like I have my ASOS like faux fur one and this will look incredible over it. And I also love the fact that the colors are very neutral, but we then also have the monogram print. And as you guys will know, I love a monogram. I got the Dior book tote last year, which had the monogram print on it. And I literally have zero regrets. I don't love it any less than the day I got it. And I just think I am one of those people that I love a monogram. Say what you will about that. I don't really care each to their own. I love the monogram print. My Fendi bag is black and two different types of brown and it's monogram. It's one of my most worn bags. So looking back at my bag collection and where things have gone right, where things haven't gone right, I ended up at this and I just, I love her. She's so beautiful. I still have the um, kind of like plastic over um, the gold hardware because I'm just scared of scratching it. Um, but this is what I had in it from yesterday. So this is the inside. Um, you're not gonna be able to see particularly well because there's black on the inside. Uh, but there's two compartments. There's also a zip pocket on the back. It's so cool, I love it. But in here I have my keys, two different hand sanitizers, a Diptyque Velocicos uh, fragrance, my Dior sunglasses, which I still just love so much. Mask, these are from ASOS, they're my favorite ones actually. Hand cream from Byredo to go with the Byredo hand sanitizer, just really bougie like that. Card holder, still going strong. <laughs> Polaroids, me and Ryan, me and Ryan, me and Nala, me and Ryan, <laughs> me and Ryan again, me and Ryan again. Ryan and Nala. There was meant to be a full family Polaroid because I had one left in the camera and we did not end up doing that. I did fill up my disposable film camera though and I'm very happy about that. There's gonna be some absolute crackers on there. The only thing I would say is the strap on this. Um, it has like adjustable little loops. I've got it on the shortest. It's still kind of long. So it works really well if I'm doing like full kind of like cross body, you know, as long as the coat I'm wearing is particularly bulky. Um, in that case, it works really well because nothing is ever like too tight and too like much of a faff to get on and off. But if I'm not wearing anything bulky, it does kind of sit a lot lower, but it is a messenger bag style and that is kind of to be expected. Apart from that, their online service was so good and the delivery was so quick as well. I was really, really happy with this purchase and would definitely buy more from them online again. I think this is the start of a really dangerous love affair if I'm honest. But anyway, I'm off to go browse Apple Watch straps for hours and watch Harry Potter and edit this. I hope you're all doing well and you had a really lovely Christmas and you're having a very relaxing boxing day. I don't even know if everywhere has boxing day. Is that a British thing? 
I feel like someone's asked me before what Boxing Day is. Yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day, tucking into the leftovers, drinking the leftover Prosecco. I'm off to do exactly that as well. I also wanted to say thank you for all of your lovely comments on my last video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna see how things go. But thank you so much for all of your love and support. It really does mean so much to me. I hope you're all doing well and you will have a really lovely new year and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye. Thank you.